Anyways, we're gonna start a new game plus. I hope. You can see level 56. Um, does, can you see the cursor? No. But I can see it. Load save data, yes. Which button is A? <laughs> Um, we'll just do normal again. <laughs> yeah! I just didn't want to have to worry about leveling. Nightmare. Because this one kind of holds up the same. You gotta be a certain level to beat the bosses. But although it's not as bad, but <clears throat> some of the bosses are kind of. Ugh. It would be nice to be a good high level. <laughs> Alright. Here we go! Adol Kristen, an adventurer of great renown. His exploits are widely discussed and hotly debated to this day. Renown. Renown. Oh, I thought this was an auto text, so I put the controller down. His enterprises are recorded in over 100 volumes of personal travelogue, which paint a vivid picture of the world and set the imaginations of those who read them ablaze. Indeed, a significant number of historians continue to believe that the Age of Discovery came about as a result of Adol's travelogue, and the thirst for adventure their content spur. However, readers have often found themselves wondering at one point Adol Kristen, born in a poor village high in the mountains, began referring to himself as adventurer. Historians and scholars have proposed countless theories to address this, yet in truth, the answer is recorded clearly in one particular volume of Adol's travelogues. I don't know why that's a hot topic for debate. <laughs> the adventure I am about to recount took place two years after Adol left his homeland. Eighteen years of age, his curiosity is at its peak. Where, where would his thirst for the unknown guide him next, and what wonders awaited him there? Alright, so technically this takes place after East 2. This is, this is just like a retelling of the game we just finished. Let us look back on the events which occurred in the great forest of Celsita and share in Adol's passion for adventure and discovery. So, let me know whenever they're talking. Oh, whenever they need the sniffing dog. Yeah, the sniffing dog whenever they're speaking. When they're not speaking or when they are speaking? When they are! Okay, okay. <laughs> Meow. It's Meow. Crystal! Crystal! I think they do talk in the beginning, though. are talking nearby. You can read that. Hey, you heard the latest news? Seems they found another gold vein. Yeah, I heard the head miner went to check it out a while ago. The way I hear it, there are veins all the way into the great forest. If you want, I can probably disable the voices altogether. Uh, no, no, no. It's all right. Ha! This gold rush business really never lets up, does it? Still, are they seriously planning to start messing around in the forest? Don't even joke about that. Going near that place isn't worth all the money in the world. You can't spend it if you're dead, after all. Five years since Celestia came under Roman control. And this city has never been more active. <laughs> a happy accident. The Romans don't give a darn about us. Until they struck gold, they couldn't even be bothered servicing the roads around here. Well, I hear there's gonna be a new governor general soon, for what it's worth. Who cares? Nothing's gonna change. They just come over here, put all our effort into 
into lining their own pockets, and then as soon as the money runs dry, the cycle starts over. Close your eyes, but wait, hang on. Looks like a Roman officer, and a pretty one at that. <laughs> with all Tago so I could do business in peace already. Couldn't agree more there. Feels like they're just dragging her feet at this point. So does that all. Blech. Watch it, you ingot! Look where you're going! Yikes. I was completely exhausted. He couldn't even muster the energy to stand up. <laughs> that all you got? Kids these days, I tell ya. No backbone at all! Where am I? Who? Who am I? Lays there in the rain? I guess. version of the song. <laughs> well, fortunately, I think I have a few spare rooms right now. I should be able to give you somewhere to rest at least. So, take it easy for a while. That was a nasty spill. I'd hate to see it happen again. Someone pushed me. At all? Is that you nope. at all? There you are. I finally found you. Uh, he didn't say that second part. There you are. Uh, it's me. It's me, your old pal, Urin. <laughs> Dearin. I thought I told you to let me know if you managed to make it back alive. Did you want me to do it when they are talking? Yeah. Okay. Uh, who are you? Who's adult? <laughs> who are you? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, he didn't read it. Oh boy, that's really not funny. It's 
you at all, at all, Preston. But never mind that. You did it. I can't believe you came back alive from the Great Forest of Celsita of all places. They say when you step foot in there, you lose all sense of direction and never come out again. Supposedly, lots of gold in those woods, but it's Fanny and Ron both keep their distance, so there's no map to be found. I tried to stop you, man! And once you stepped out that gate, I thought you were a goner for sure, like all the others. But here you are, proving me wrong! You're my favorite source of mu- I mean, my dearest friend! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Now, straight to business. No offense intended if I cut to the chase, but I am an, in an information dealer after all. Not a very good one. <laughs> I want all the intel you've got about the forest, and don't you dare skip on the details. Don't the truth. Try winging it. <laughs> try flopping your wings away! <laughs> You want to try to wing it? Yes. <laughs> you serious? All right. That's what I like to hear. First and foremost, then, are there any villages in there? Just knowing that would be a huge deal for future expeditions. I don't can continue the charade. He won't up till it's the truth. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> you gotta be kidding me! So you don't even remember who I am? Or who you are for that matter? I mean, technically he wouldn't know who he is. Oh boy. What the heck happened to you in there? Actually, forget I ask. In fact, forget we ever had this conversation at all. My instincts are telling me you got yourself into some big trouble in that forest, and I want no part of it. Sorry, man. Don't take it personally. I just know a bad deal when I hear one. <sighs> hey, what's wrong? We've got a problem. The mine. There are monsters in the mine. What? The monsters just showed up in that newly dug tunnel? It does lead to some old ruin. No surprise there'd be monsters in a place like that. Either way, times like these are what we have the Roman army for, right? Oh yeah! Leo. Where's Commander Leo? He's not here right now. It seems he's now doing some sort of military training exercise. Even worse, the soldiers that are still here are just panicking. They have no idea what to do. By the way, Mom, do you want to know some other differences that were in Mask of the Sun? What? Whoops. You never meet Rita or Kalilika. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they're, and you don't see the Celery guy, and they didn't have the the beasts. I forgot what they're called. Uh, Spartas. Yeah, the Spartas. Seriously? Man, they really are useless. Finally get a chance to do something useful for once, and they just freak out! Are there any miners who didn't get out in time? I don't know. It was every man for himself in there, so nobody really- Sorry. Gave it much attention, I guess. So no one really gave it that much attention. Can't blame them for that, I guess. Anyway, we can't just sit around. Let's get to the mine. <clears throat> right! All present. <laughs> Okay. Are you going to Peach? <laughs> okay then. Oh. Right. Oh, you no wanted way. all both of us do it? Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> Sounds like there's a whole lot of trouble down at the old mine. I thought you were gonna count down or something. I don't know. I'm gonna go take a look. Okay. Uh, see ya. All right. All right. One, two, three. Right. right. Even though it's a new Using. game plus, it's telling me how to move. Move using arrows or L. <laughs> Talk. What's a directional button? <laughs> What's directions? What are directions? You can now access 
time attack from the memories menu. Time attack mode, you can challenge bosses that you've already defeated in order to try conquering them more quickly. Stats and time attack will reflect your current party members, skills, and accessories. Levels, weapons, and armor are assigned based on the boss you are fighting. You will also begin the, with three of each recovery item. Note, however, that effects of status boosting items, as well as those of the Wanderer's Cloak and Hero's Cloak, will be disabled at time attack. What? Press the mini map key or area map key anytime during a time attack about to open the reach try in menu. Time attack save data utilize, utilizes existing save data from gameplay, so unique time attack data is saved for each difficulty level. When selecting a difficulty level for time attack, you may choose any difficulty you wish, regardless of the level set during the main campaign. <laughs> you will also be able to challenge time attack using- uh, I don't want to read it anymore. Try to defeat each boss. In the fastest time possible. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? I never- Unstoppable! I never upgraded the, uh, these weapons. Run! I'm trying! Run! Isn't 
One of these little boys has like a collar on. I think it's this one. Monsters! What kind of monsters? I wanna see them! I really wanna see some monsters! Even if it's just a quick glance one time. He's got like a, a cat collar on. I think it even has a bell. Or what if the little boy's the cat from or earlier? Or a tag. That's <laughs> the cat from the cutscene. Yeah. He is Crystal! And I thought Crystal was a girl all this time. <gasps> Mining sure is with risky work. I just hope they all make it out okay. That's not Leo over there, is it? Actually, it's a woman, so I suppose not. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference? Hmm, I don't remember seeing anyone like that in the Celsidan army. Keep talking. What is taking so long? Hurry it up! Get the injured out of there! <laughs> yes, ma'am! safety of the miners is our highest priority. Make certain all of them are accounted for. Understood! Huh? Who's that now? That's Governor General Griselda. She just got here recently. Seems Commander Leo is away on business today, so she was assigned here in his place. I'm a little disappointed, to be honest. I came all this way to the mine so I could see the robots screw up, not do their job. <laughs> <laughs> Guess you can't win them all. <laughs> Are you the last? No. The head miner and a few others got trapped in the room the monsters came out of. But please, please help them. Counting the head miner. How many are left? Three, I think. Understood. You may rest now. We will see to it that the others are rescued. You two! There are miners trapped inside who need our help. Make the necessary preparations and head in immediately. yet. This is an emergency and I am in charge. Prioritize the safe rescue of the miners above all else. There is no need to eliminate the monsters inside. Hey, Sanju! Who is by our rank? The commander or the governor general? The governor general, of course. Idiot. There's no time to waste. Move it! than Commander Leo. Jane, you can't say the same about those soldiers, but let's wait and see. I guess maybe she can whip them into shape. A strange orb of light suddenly began shining nearby, yet no one else seemed to be able to see it but at all. my ears when I heard that you repelled one of Sis's knives with just your sword. She never misses. I honor the skill and courage you have displayed by crossing the territory of the beasts. Yeah, he might not look like much, but his skill with a sword is really something. You'll have to fight me one-on-one -on -one sometime. Protect me. I just realized something. What? What they were saying? Wasn't 
isn't that what the people were saying in Komodo? I think so, yes. Cool! Sword. Was I a swordsman? Edo felt an, un an uncontrollable urge to get involved. It was simply too much to bear. He had to try to help resolve the situation. Open the cap menu and select the memories icon. <laughs> I think we have all of the memories. Yeah. Um. I don't. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it puts the ones we've collected on the map anymore, or at least I think it. There's no icons for them, I don't think. Oh, there's no map. <laughs> I can't even look at the map. You know Cat? what I... What? No, go. What? No. Mind? No, you go. I realize we never go this way. As far as I know. We never get to see what's behind that door. Dang it! Whoops. Uh, what's the attack button? I guess technically I don't have a weapon yet, so... Hold on! Whoa! Hold up now! I step away from you for just a few minutes and find you wandering in here alone? think you're going I heard a strange voice you sure you weren't just hearing things you obviously suffered a blow to the head if you wound up with amnesia I'll explain to Duren 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 what happened at the mine entrance I think I get it now you're one of those people aren't you what Nothing I hate more in this whole wide world than you naive, meddlesome little do-gooders. You just have to try to solve everyone else's problems, and you drag others down with you while you're doing it. Well, I know better than to try and talk your kind out of these crazy stunts, but if you must go, at least take this. The sound was unnecessarily loud. I don't want your corpse on my conscience. Again. <laughs> I can't believe you were seriously thinking of wandering in here barehanded. Come to think of it, if you've lost all your memories, does that mean you've forgotten how to fight too? Maybe. That's really not something you should be saying with a straight face. Especially not in the mind full of monsters. Fine! I'll come part of the way with you! Only part of the way though, you got it? Now who's being naive? <laughs> Shut it, you! Let's just get this over with. He's a jerk! Oh. Can't move the box. I am trying! Uh, I am trying! Yes, we've already assembled our equipment for Adol. That is so cool looking. More than one hero's ring. Cool. Obtain experience when walking. I said risky banana. <laughs> risky banana. Give Duren the risky banana. 
Right, Give gets, him the risky banana. He gets the risky banana. <laughs> oh, we can keep our money too. Yay. Pretty old looking monument. What? <laughs> He's like, why did you do that? And <laughs> why did that happen? What did you just do? <laughs> <laughs> I only touched it. <laughs> yeah, I guess that is all you did. Looks like it's been buried here for a long time. Oh well, let's just focus on getting out of here. No time to be worrying about old statues. So can we attack now? No. even look like monsters. They just look like moles. <laughs> Although I guess they are really big moles. <laughs> what? <laughs> they made me think of actual idols. Why? I don't know. Because they're cute. <laughs> the moles are the axolotls. <laughs> on um, <laughs> collection points. You got it, dear. Clicking an enemy. Oh my 
gosh, we could have been clicking on them to find their names. <laughs> Go back? Yes, you forgot about that the last time we played. Well, I never needed to do it. Well, whenever we have to fight that monster, then, then we need to do it. You starting to get the hang of fighting again? Oh, and just in case you need it, I'll give you one of these. Thank you. You're so fun! <laughs> Blush. <laughs> uh, what the heck's wrong with you? Don't say that kind of thing with a straight face. It's embarrassing. Anyway, that's a healing item. Always good to keep a few on hand. If your health's low and you think you're in trouble, use one while you still can or forever hold your peace. Okay. <laughs> that's the peace word for <laughs> Just kidding. biggest things I like that's introduced in this game uh, is the different attributes everyone has where Adol has slash, Deerin has strike, and I, I don't remember the last one. Rust? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways. It kind of makes things more interesting having these strengths and weaknesses. <laughs> Also, having other people that can help me fight is nice. <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, Fonza, oh. you okay? Oh, 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 oh. Sancho! I think my leg's broken! Stop whining, or the commander's gonna yell at us when he gets back. <laughs> Away! Shoo! Shoo! We're here to help! Nope, oh, this doesn't concern us. Let's just go. We're here to help! <laughs> uh, you can read this one. Uh, Hansa, someone's come to help us! Help! Uh, guess we can't just leave them. Out of all the monsters we've fought so far, these look like the toughest. Just think of this as a chance to review everything you've learned. Give them all you've got! Extra gauge. Those were a piece of cake. <laughs> oh, I was just gonna leave them there. <laughs> you can read it. Oh. 
So Steven's army is technically part of Rom Rom's armed forces. But it's made up more of locals than trained Romans. You remember when Daddy told you I made I made up that new voice with the Orbeez? Oh right. Every time I do that voice, it makes me laugh. It's like using certain voices for certain lines can make me laugh. Oh. <laughs> like, like the voice I use for Panza. Yeah. As you can see, morale isn't exactly high. <laughs> That means it's our time to shine! Let's keep moving. All right. Oh, he's going straight for this collection point. Whoops. You thunder! jumping in this game. <laughs> I can't get off this dock. Darn. Looks like it's locked. I bet you guys could squeeze through there. Maybe not Durin. <laughs> He's too thick. Why, dear and why? <laughs> what? I dropped what? my water bottle. Oh, here. Oh. <laughs> my water bottle dropped. Oh, he could probably slide under it. He's right. The gate is definitely locked up tight. Nope, it's not budget. Just dig! Just punch! Punch? He's not doggy. What? He might be buff, but he's not doggy buff. I see! I don't think Sounds there's- stupid. <laughs> what? Sounds stupid! Oh. Uh, sorry. I don't think there's any other way to go deeper into the mine, though. Let's try to force it open. <laughs> that will be plan B. But with the lock this well made, it's a lot easier said than done. I think we should have a look around and see if the key's anywhere nearby before we start busting up the place. <laughs> before we bring the cave down on top of us. Before we summon Dogi. <laughs> we just call him up. Uh oh. Here we go. This too? Hmm. Still, this is a much simpler lock than the one on the gate. No problem. Leave it to me. <clears throat> urine can pick open locked chests. Urine. Urine. Leave it to me. This is normal. My turn. My turn. You just keep saying my turn and leave it to me over and over again. You've got the key. You know what I just noticed? What? They are only two of the rude dudes. The rude dudes. All we need is. All we need is the celery guy and boom! The Roo Dudes! Aw oh, man, we should make a shirt design with the three of them and it just say the Roo Dudes. <laughs> and dudes spelled with two O's instead of a U. Dudes. <laughs> Looks like that did the trick. Right then, let's go get that gate open and see what's waiting for us behind it. Look at him run. <laughs> Leave it to me. <laughs> you run stupid! <laughs> Use the key! Why well, will punch you in <laughs> Break it open. We have the key, but we're gonna break it open anyway. Let's summon Doki! Everything just 
just melted. <laughs> special gauge full. Huh. This place feels a lot different from the rest of the mine. It's like some kind of old ruin. I like all the sounds. Whoa! So close. Dumb name! <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Is this the monster that started all the trouble? Watch out, Adolf! If you don't want to die, you'd better hurry up and remember how to fight. <laughs> Unleash the extra skill. Is it full? I'm not sure if you can use it. Yeah, I probably should use it. things for people, I think. Philanthropist? Philanthropist. Philanthropist! I'm so glad you're okay. I, I can't thank you enough. You you literally saved all our lives from certain doom. As long as that monster was there, we had nowhere to go. At least none of you are too worse for wear. Thank goodness for small favors, I guess. Absolutely. I'm eternally grateful that no one was hurt. Although, there is something worth noting that occurred just in the next area. See, there's a strange statue there, and at one point it started to glow, and that seemed to calm the monsters a bit. It might have just been in my imagination, but I could swear it actually happened. What kind of statue? What kind of statue? Hmm, well, it had wings on its back. Very distinct. You look like you want to see it even more now, Adolf. <laughs> You're not interested. You should go take a look for yourself. We, on the other hand, should be leaving. I'm thinking everyone's quite worried about us by now. Sure thing. Take care of yourselves. So you're into these kind of places, huh? Well, we're here anyway, so we might as well take a quick look around. All right. <gasps> I think there's no. Hey, what's that? Is 
that the statue Wagner was talking about? I was suddenly stricken with a violent and intense headache. You can say it. Ad doll. I truly sorry this way. Certain you returned this false sanctuary. I have Hey, at all. You okay? Was it that voice you heard outside again? You don't look so good. I think it's about time we head out of here ourselves. Suddenly, a light appeared in 42. You feel like a small weed object. You obtained the weed. Hold on. Whoa, that sure wasn't here before. Where the heck did it come from? Sure looks old. I wonder what it was used for. Do you think this ruin has anything to do with the voice you heard? I don't know. Well, yeah, I guess you wouldn't. Sorry. I know that when the, when miners dig up, dig up ruins, monsters sometimes show up or other strange things start to happen. Seems like this is just another unsolved mining mystery for the history books. Well, I'm ready to go anytime. When you're done down here, let's head back to the surface. A winged statue silently stands before you. Alright, let's go. It wings! Your wings. <laughs> the silver wing is shining brightly. It appears to be reacting. Oh boy, what now? Is it resonating with that stone monument? Let's take a closer look. Silver wing can now be used to warp between stone monuments! We now have a warp! Yeah! We know how to warp! What? What just happened? This is the entrance to the mine, isn't it? How did we get here? That monument warp us here? So many weird things have happened today. It's making my head hurt. Come on, let's just get back to town already. Gotta keep up. Gotta go fast. Can you keep up, dear? Gentlemen, so you are the red haired youth noted in a report. You can keep going. I'll my, tell you. My name is Priscilla. I am the Governor General of Celsita. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Adol Kristen. Adol, you say? A fine name. Fitting for one as brave yet approachable as yourself. Is it? <laughs> too would like to extend my deepest thanks for saving not only the miners, but some of our army soldiers as well. There's more I wish to discuss for the two of you. But I prefer not to make this commotion any greater. Would you mind accompanying me to my office? Still, this is quite 
quite the coincidence. I recently heard of a mysterious island called Mysteria in the east, long cloaked in violent, impenetrable winds. It was only for six months, right? Yeah. And I also heard that it was freed from its storm wall by a young red-haired man much like yourself. Now that you mention it, I heard something similar from a traveler in the bar myself a while back. But there's no way, right? Regardless, I would like to extend my deepest thanks to, to you for all you've done here, Adolf. And there is one other issue I would also like to discuss with you. Are you familiar with the Great Forest of Sosidas to the northwest of here? Uh, maybe? Maybe not? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Why do you ask? Why do you ask, woman? Well, which one is it? I don't just say you've never heard of it, or this is gonna get real confusing real fast. <laughs> it's said that those who set foot into the Great Forest immediately lose their bearings. Ferocious beasts prowl its expanses, and few have ever returned alive. As such, even our army has been hesitant to explore its depths, leaving it mostly an uncharted wilderness. However, we recently received orders from Rom, instructing us to find new gold deposits. We must make haste. I therefore have a formal request for you, Adol Kristen. Would you consider undertaking the task of mapping of Great Forest on our behalf? Mapping it? Again, it is an uncharted wilderness. Few set folk within, and few were returned. Therefore, no map presently exists. You would begin a thorough expedition into the forest during tomorrow, carefully mapping every mel... Melier? I'm not sure. I don't think they've ever said this word out loud, so I don't know how you pronounce it. <laughs> I'll just say every nook and cranny. <laughs> I cannot deny that it will be a dangerous task indeed, but you will be rewarded most generously for your efforts. Tomorrow we will be formally announcing the quest and presenting the first able to complete it with a large sum of gold. What kind of mo- What kind of money are we talking about here? It will be awarded in installments based on percentage explored. In total, our budget is 30 million gold. <whistles> Not bad at all! He actually whistled. I see. Numerous explorers and prospectors have already heard rumors of this and begun gathering here in Kessnan. <whistles> if you are interested, I would like to hear your answer as soon as possible. Before sundown tomorrow, preferably. However, the hour's late, so please rest for the night. There's a room at the. Oh, sorry. Please There's think it over. <laughs> Can I tell her about my progress? We have like, what, 96%? 99.6%. Mm. Can't even see it. If you're interested, I would like to hear your answer as soon as possible. Before sundown tomorrow, preferably. There's a room at the end. I'm hopeful you will think it over. Okay, that was what we missed. You're all lucky guys to be able to talk to the Governor General personally. Uh, sure would be nice to get called inside instead of just standing guard here all day! She can hear you! <laughs> You're just outside her office. Mustachioed man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're the swordsman who took down that monster in the mine, aren't you? Darn straight. You got the wrong person, bub! Is that what you want me to say? Yes! <laughs> My question was a rhetorical one! I know it was you! I feel like his eyes are way too small. <laughs> Fiery red hair is not exactly a common trait among the locals. Or his forehead is really big. I am the Great Leo, commander of the Selsenian army, and the finest swordsman around. 
Don't you start getting cocky just because you took down a little monster while I was away. If I'd been here, I would have defeated it in a tenth of the time. With such skill and grace, you would have been left speechless. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. Alright, you can read now. That Commander Leo is probably the most infamous man in Catnid. I'm sure you can see why. Oh boy. Amazing how quickly you got involved with some of the strangest, most influential folks around. Urine. <laughs> Urine. Exhausted. Gruder. Gruder. <laughs> Exhausted, Adel and Urine made their way toward the bar. the longest day of my life. So, what are you gonna do about the Governor General's request? I'm gonna accept it. Huh? Really? That's surprising. At all. See, at all. I have a crazy idea. How about the two of us accept her offer together? As partners? You just want the reward money! <laughs> what do you want to say? You just want the reward money! Is it that obvious? You're right, of course. It's not such a bad deal for you either, you know. I want the money. You want to get your memories back. And to get your memories back, you're gonna need to go back to the Great Forest anyway, right? We make the map, sell it to the Romans, and I get some juicy info while we're at it. Everybody's happy! It's win-win! I feel like I'm being used. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being used from time to time. It just means you're useful. <laughs> okay. If we can both benefit, we might as well stick together. It's safer than going into those woods alone, that's for sure. Alan Juran decided to accept the challenge of mapping the Great Forest of Celsius. As it was late, however, they opt to rest up at the inn for their impending expedition. <laughs> the next morning, they visited the Governor General to formally accept the mission, then immediately began preparing for the road ahead. The great map of Salcedo! <laughs> Well, technically, it's not a map of Celsita yet, <laughs> but it will be. Now, I'm sure you're ready to explore, but let me first give you a rundown of the things you can do in Kathnit. First, quests. Here's how they work. You can accept quests whenever you want by checking the quest board in the end. And every time you complete a quest, you'll get a reward from the client. See that board over there? That's Kathnit's quest board. Let's go have a closer look at it. I'm slowly making my way. <laughs> I'm gonna waste all your time here. You wanna read them? Alright. You there! Yes, you! Read this notice. You have what it takes to help me make a superficial drink. For more details, talk to me at the bar counter. I want someone to run a small errand for me. Let me know if you're interested. I'm usually in the Celsius and Ge General Government Building Cafeteria during the day. Wallace. Goldsmith. I wish to purchase 20 chucks of iron ore. If interested, please see me at the trading post. I probably have that. A ferocious beast known as the Langrid has been sighted on the plains right by the Great Forest. Would a skilled warrior be willing to defeat it? They look at the wake Did you check everything posted there? Hey, looks like someone from this bar put a request up. Two people, actually. The Mayun and his daughter. <laughs> Go talk to him. 
might be good practice, though this guy's a little odd. <laughs> Quests are displayed on the quest board in each town. We know how the quests work! NPCs who offer a quest display a quest mark above them. Okay. By the way, you have a journal, right? You can note your progress exploring the Green Forest. Quests you've accepted, monsters encountered, materials found. If you write those kinds of things down, it'll come in handy later on. It's always a good idea to take lots of notes. Open the camp menu, select the journal icon. You can mm -hmm. use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I want to say about quests. Next, I'll give you a quick tour around town. So let's head outside. Oh, are you here about language? Quest actually came from the Governor General's office. It's too dangerous to leave that thing alone for too long, so we've been sent reward money in advance to give to whoever defeats it. So let me know if you happen to be the one. This money's got your name on it. We don't need to bring proof or anything, just tell them we did it. Okay. Hmm. That look on your face tells me that you have something to say. Could you have seen my request on the board? Right, so what is it you want us to do? Allow me to explain. Right now I'm in the middle of refining my finest product. Naturally, I'm talking about the almighty muscle milk shake. After some thought, I've decided on the perfect ingredient. The essence of the wild, impossible to obtain from livestock raised surrounding my domestic comforts. That gentleman is Fabro's milk. Fabro's milk? Indeed! The Fabros is a strong, wild beast, which looks similar to a cow, found on the plains just before the Great Forest. And I'd like to, and I'd like you two to go and milk one for me. <laughs> Gross. Milking a wild beast, huh? This sounds like it's gonna be a tough one. So is there some way to tell the males and females apart? The English will obviously have to milk a female. The easiest way to tell them apart is to look at the horns. Males have three horns, while the females only have one. How can something like a cow only have three horns? I don't know. It's a, it's a video game. Okay. <laughs> That's how. <laughs> that easy, huh? Alright. There are also a few other things you should bear in mind. The first is that female favorites are exceptionally cautious beasts. As such, you won't find many of them on the plane. If one of them sees a threat, it will run away immediately. So you're gonna have to sneak up on it. I see. You're really pretty knowledgeable about these things, aren't you? Ha! Huh. But of course, in my younger days, I would sometimes smoke a favorite and drink it on the spot. <laughs> I find <laughs>
Gamer's Matchnik. That's Billy's Curios. He sells all kinds of items, like Curios, a new type of cereal. Curios, a new type of cereal? It'll make you curious <laughs> to try it. He sells all kinds of items, from health potions to cereal. <laughs> he has an oats! As a note. And that is Thomas's cereal. <laughs> Thomas's cereal? <laughs> that is Thomas the train. <laughs> <laughs> That's Thomas the tank engine. <laughs> and that's Thomas's armory! As the name suggests, he's your man if you're looking if you need to see a train. If you need to catch a train! <laughs> I don't think trains are invented yet. I don't care! <laughs> or cereal. I don't think cereal was invented either. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe not cereal the way we think of it now, but stuff like oatmeal. Okay. That's considered cereal. Wait, what? I thought oatmeal was just oatmeal. As the name suggests, he's your, he's your train if you need to catch a train home. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a look over there then. Alright, are you about done? Or you... Oh, uh, never mind. They're making us keep doing this. Nice place, isn't it? That guy over there is is its namesake. Thomas the Tank Engine! Toot toot. If you want to if you want to catch a train home, he's the man to talk to. Just kidding. If you need any weapons or armor. <laughs> Okay, merchants and service vendors have a shop mark above them. You can use the facilities. I'm actually kind of sad that this game doesn't have the shop music from the the game we just finished, uh, Mask of the Sun. That music was wild. Like this? Oh! That was how I knew there was a, a vendor <laughs> that music would start playing. Well, well, back then, uh, uh, now I don't know what I was gonna say. Okay. Next, I'll show you around the trading post. You can enter the trading post directly from outside, or you can go the back way through the armory. Since we're here already, it's faster just to go downstairs. Come on. All right, done. done. Now we can save. I can hear the toads. It's not even dark outside yet. Uh, how much ore do we have? They just want the ore, right? Or do they want the ingots? Hold up, uh... Never mind. It's ore. What? Uh... In the materials, I wanted you to go. You want to look at the materials? Yeah. What do you want to look at? Uh... In my yeah. items? Yeah. Or in the journal? Oh, okay. What? I wanted to look at the artifacts. Sorry. Did I pass it up yet? Yeah, you passed it. Oh, okay. You know, we never found that other artifact. There, yeah, there's one we're missing. We never found it. That's probably where the 0.2% of the map exploration is. Wherever that last artifact. I'll have to look it up or something. Uh, let me put up your goodbye thing since you're leaving. Alright. Is it this one? Yes. Alright. That's a worm. <laughs> Mom. Huh? That's a worm. Yes. I see it. I love worms. <laughs> you know, I used to love worms. I used to catch worms and put them in jars. What? 
until I left a jar outside on the stairs and my dad tripped on it and broke his ankle. <laughs> so I stopped doing it. Or he sprained his ankle. He didn't break it. I'm sort of glad I don't collect worms. I just love worms. <laughs> don't collect them. Okay. What are you looking at? I'm looking at the worm. Huh? I'm looking at the worm worm. This one? Yes. Oh, okay. Anyway. Right. Good night, baby. I love you. I don't know. <laughs> Dang it, now I want to stay. What? It's 8.30, though. I know, I know. It's just when someone come, comes in, for some reason, it just makes me want to play more. Well, we can finish this tutorial around the town if you want. Okay. Oh, did I ever tell you that someone put Kaznan in a VR chat? What? Yeah, I, I was streaming VR chat and found Kaznan. I see. Yeah. But there's nothing to do. There's no people and there's... You can't go into buildings. It's just like walking around and <laughs> looking at everything. Alright, well, let's put this away. We're gonna play for a little, just a teensy bit longer while we do this tutorial. <laughs> they can spin around in this game, too, see? <laughs> this is the goldsmith's trading post. There are a bunch of handy shops here. Spinning. Random spins. Also, hello, Rocket Mecca. <laughs> How, How are, are you doing? <gasps> Jinx. Pinch poke, you owe me a Coke. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Yeah, we went through the mining cave. <laughs> now we're being, now we're going through a tour around town by Deeran. Deeran. The white-haired guy. He's showing us around. He's being helpful. Yeah, not a jerk this time. Well, he's still kind of a jerk. <laughs> like the smithy, where you can get your weapons and armor re reinforced. Weapons and armor have a total of eight statistics. They can be reinforced using materials. Or minerals, I can't remember what it said. <laughs> Freezing is my favorite ailment to <laughs> uh, put on enemies. To refine ore into metals and gems if you bring them some to work with. You're gonna need them too if you plan on doing any reinforcing. First, you look for some ore, then you refine it. Then, you use the refined ore to give weapons and armor a nice boost. Best to keep all that in mind. Sorry if you can hear the toads in the backyard, they're so loud. Shut up, the toads! I, don't I mean, my you. neighbors. I mean, the toads. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't think the toes uh, can hear me. No, they can't hear you. I'll have to say it louder than you. <laughs> Metals and gems used to reinforce what? weapons armor. Alright. It is boring information that I probably won't ever do on stream. That man over there is Goldsmith, the shop's owner. Is that his name? Goldsmith? <laughs> yes. If you give him a bunch of one material, he'll exchange them for an item of higher quality. And best of all, he doesn't charge anything, so it's definitely a service worth, worth using. In other words, it's free! The best price of them all! <laughs> it's not free, we're still exchanging goods. <laughs> it's called bartering. That does it for the shops here in Kessin. Once you finish checking out the trading post, we can go back outside to the main entrance. Alright, this guy over here is who I was talking about. He sells the pedestal. The gold pedestal, remember? Oh my god! <laughs> that is so much money! Yes, it's a lot of money. We can just barely, we barely can't afford the, the replica, I think. When it's up to 100,000, that's a million! <laughs> yes. You're so funny. Goldsmith, having the second worst parents in the E-Series, 
think it'll lead to dark back no, there. No, 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 <laughs> no. What was her name? Mason Torch from East 2. <laughs> I'm gonna draw fan art of Mason Torch. Mason Torch? <laughs> She's a girl, too. <laughs> Mason Torch. <laughs> Remember that joke you made about, about Darkfax's parents naming him Darkfax? Well, whenever I told you that was his real name, what did I say? You said something like, what a beautiful child. We'll name him Darkfax. Oh. <laughs> It's a beautiful bouncing baby boy. <laughs> we'll call him Dork Fact. <laughs> That's not any kind of foreshadowing. <laughs> it's like they know he's gonna become an evil person. <laughs> Finally, we've wrapped up my grand tour of Kaznan. <sighs> what a pain. If you hadn't gone and lost your memories, I wouldn't have had to bother showing you it all again. Or to be deeply offended. Whoa! Hold on a minute! I was only joking! <laughs> I won't lie, when I when I was a kid I always assumed the dark was just the title. <laughs> I mean it's an easy mistake to make. I I thought so too, until I read about it. I never really thought about it. Um, I'd always known about the East series, but I never started playing the playing the games until like ten years ago, I about when you were born. And I don't know. I just never even thought about it. <laughs> I think I read it in the wiki as well and just forgot. I didn't think you'd take it so personally. Oh, we're like looking at the ground. You hurt Puffy Adol's feelings. You hurt my feelings. I ought to punch you in the face, man. You think most people don't? <laughs> Poor Jerry. <dear. laughs> Poor Jerry. Al admitted he was only joking as well. Oh, you guys should hug. I mean, never mind. Oh, so you're a wise guy. <laughs> Guy. You may not remember who you were before, but I'll tell you one thing. You weren't that guy. <laughs> well, that's pretty much Kaznan in a nutshell. So, time to start planning how we're gonna tackle the great forest. Wow, what a great view! <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, it's an amazing view. Sorry. That's a pretty great view, right? Uh, that's the great forest of Celsita, spread now from one horizon to the other like a vast sea of trees. Can't wait to start exploring it! <laughs> we only have a 0.2% that we need to explore. <sighs> we'll see how long that enthusiasm lasts. Though so apparently you've made it back alive there from there once already. Anyway, take a look to the northwest. <laughs> Let me get out my compass. I can't see it too well today because of the fog, but when it's nice out, there's a huge tree that towers over all the others. I place it about here on the map, map roughly. <laughs> Where we mapped the whole thing. Also, word around the Governor General's office is that the mouth of a large river has been found along the forest's coastline. If that's true, it'd mean our river cuts right through the middle of the forest. Which would put it about here-ish? These two bits of information are pretty much all we've got to go on for the, for the moment. Might as well check them both out. Up to you where we head first. Only things we can rely on at this point are our own two legs and a blank map. <laughs> Not that blank. We need to leave town through the north exit to get to the Great Forest. So, as soon as you're ready, let's get going. Open the camp menu and select the map icon or press R3. The following information is added and updated automatically. Completion, terrain and known areas, towns and dungeon material, uh, harvest points, story and quest goals. 
Oh my goodness. Uh, by clicking the mini map in the upper right corner of the screen or pressing uh, that button, you can enlarge it to view the following information. Quest destinations, locations of facilities and towns, quest board, armory, shops, materials, and treasures. <laughs> Uh, As you explore the great forest, your map will begin to fill in. The amount of ground that's been charted is shown as a percentage. This percentage can be checked on the map itself, and a number of rewards are available to, to you based on this value. There are 10 reward, reward tiers in total, which can be attained by reporting your progress to Griselda in her office. In addition to gold, some reward tiers also include valuable items. See if you can get 100% map completion for 99.8. <laughs> I obviously couldn't. <laughs> yes, I don't miss the spot. Why? Um, I was gonna do something, but I forgot what I was going to do. Let's go talk to Grizella and get her <laughs> 10 tier rewards. Try and keep up, Jiren! Run! Run! <laughs> Get in the shape, young man! You were so close. I know! Ah, greetings, Arrow Kristen. To reiterate what I said earlier, please give your reports on the map directly to me. You will receive a portion of the reward every time you make significant progress on mapping out the forest. And at certain milestones, I'll present you with a bonus in addition to your usual payment. I don't even know what this game gives you for the 100% completion. Well, I don't either. <laughs> we'll figure it out together. Yes! <laughs> I Maybe. Hope, I hope this will serve as motivation to you, although I don't wish to stretch the potential reward too much. I had missed one of the artifacts. So wherever that artifact is, is probably the percentage I'm missing. Ah, right, you've come to report your progress on the map. Let's hear it then. My, it appears you have made excellent progress. <laughs> we haven't even left town yet. I wasn't expecting you to be able to demonstrate such top quality results in such a short period of time. I usually anticipate hearing of your continued exploits. Well, it's pretty motivating to hear that, thank you. I agree with Darren. I'm glad the opinion of this officer means so much to you. I also have another reward for you in addition to your payment. Please accept it. Well, we got one of them. We've already got a, a, an artifact. It attracts items towards the party when equipped. After being unleashed, you can obtain gold while simply walking around. And here's your payment. Wow. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I bid you farewell for now, but I will be eagerly awaiting your next report. Go really slow. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I think I'm done for real now. Now you're done? <laughs> yes. Alright, let's put this back up again. Remember Jack of Daisy? Root Barrel? Oh, yeah, Jack of Daisy. Jack Daisy was another name in East too that I really liked. It was one of my favorite names. At all, really is a master adventurer, <laughs> completing 98, 99.8% of the map before we even start. That's like, amazing, huh? It's like um, Jack Daisy is my third, my third favorite name. Uh, my second is Regs. My first one is Oh, Regs. Regs. My name is legs. legs. My name is Legs. Hot Legs. Somebody wrote Hot Legs on the design. 
Am I pushing the save button? I think I am. I get paranoid with save saving. <laughs> Good night! Good night! I will see you in the morning. Tomorrow is Friday. Yay! Friday!